What's up guys, it's Chris Herrio. Welcome to another vlog. Today I'm gonna to be answering one of my most asked questions. How many pull-ups do I need to be able to muscle up? Now the simple answer is there is no exact number, but the more pull-ups you're able to do, the easier obtaining the muscle up will be. The muscle up is a skill-based compound exercise that involves both pulling and pushing. And because this is a skill-based exercise, both strength and technique are required in order to perform this movement perfectly, which means being very comfortable with pull-ups will make it that much easier, especially when you're first learning the muscle up, as you will be able to attempt and train the muscle up more times before tiring out from the pull-up portion of the exercise. As for how many pull-ups are needed to be able to do a muscle up, I generally require from an individual before progressing onto muscle ups, 15 pull-ups. Though the 15 pull-ups that I consider may be different from what others do. There's people that can do 10 pull-ups and be able to muscle up, and there's people that can do 20 pull-ups and still can't do a single muscle up. Don't just aim for a number of reps, but strive for controlled quality reps. By raising the standard of each rep, where you pull with your elbows in instead of your elbows out, and pulling to your chest versus pulling to your chin, you'll be doing pull-ups that directly transfer to mastering the muscle up. Remember, practice doesn't always make perfect, only perfect practice makes perfect, which means that you can practice something over and over wrong for years and you're never gonna get it. But once you start practicing the right way perfectly, you're gonna immediately start seeing results. And that's why you wanna focus on the quality of your reps versus the amount. That number isn't gonna give you the muscle up. Your explosiveness and the technique is what gives you your muscle up. So today I'm gonna show you six exercises that will have you master the strength and technique required to be able to do a muscle up. Master these six exercises and you'll master the muscle up and you won't have to worry about how many pull-ups you need to do. So with that said, find a pull-up bar and let's get right into it. And to get this routine on your phone to be able to follow along with me, make sure you downloaded the Harrier Pro app in the App Store or Google Play Store. Open up to the YouTube workout section, find this routine, let's get started. The first exercise I have for you guys is weighted pull-ups. We're gonna be going for seven reps and I want you to choose an amount of weight that's gonna have you struggle to reach your seventh rep. Now, as I said before, the number of reps in these exercises aren't most important. It's just a goal to reach that's gonna have you master the muscle up and specifically master this and each of these exercises as they're gonna have you achieve your muscle up. So if doing the required reps of any of these exercises are too hard, you can even focus on just one rep and mastering that movement perfectly. Try to do one perfectly every minute on the minute if you're just getting started. So with that said, let's get into the first exercise for seven reps, weighted pull-ups. All right, so there we have weighted pull-ups. And the reason why I have you guys doing these is purely for pulling strength. By getting your body used to pulling a heavier overload, when you take this off, you're gonna be flying and super explosive on the bar. And if you're doing this frequently and really master your weighted pull-ups, you should be able to pull up way past your chest. And that's why this is the first exercise to focus on. This is gonna make everything else easier. And if you can do this, you can do all the exercises I'm about to show you. Now the next exercise is gonna be closed grip pull-ups seven times. So there we have the closed grip pull-ups. Now the reason why I have you doing closed grip pull-ups is because when you're doing closed grip pull-ups, you have your elbows in while you're pulling and that's the actual movement path when you're doing a muscle-up. And it also requires your body to be more compact and utilize more muscles. Pulling straight to your chest, which is needed to be able to do a muscle-up versus pulling straight down. So if you master this movement, you'll have the muscle memory of pulling your elbows in when you go to do a pull-up or a muscle-up versus having your elbows flared out. Also, practicing different grips while doing pull-ups is gonna increase your overall pulling strength. So incorporating different grips will also make you more efficient at pulling as well. Now moving on to the next exercise, we have chin-ups. I want you to go for 10 reps as clean as possible. Let's go for it. Have a tight, tight grip. Bring your scapulas back. We're gonna pull straight to our chest. All right, so there we have the chin-ups. And if you notice while we were doing chin-ups, we're pulling again with our elbows in. Again, the same motion that we need for mastering the muscle up, but this time we have a supinated grip, which is gonna focus building our strength on our biceps and our lats, which are needed to be able to do muscle up as well. And as I said before, the different grips that you use and master, the easier it is gonna be to pull. Now the next exercise I have for you is gonna be L-sit pull-ups. We're going for five reps as perfect as you can.
All right, so there we have L-sit pull-ups. It's something you need to be able to master the muscle up that's being able to activate the core while pulling and while having full control of your lower body and doing so will also fix your posture while you're doing a pull-up, force you to use more back engagement, but that will also improve your pull-ups and how high you pull up over time. Now, this is an exercise that takes a lot of strength and skill. So if you need to, try just doing one every minute on the minute. Eventually, you'll increase your repetitions. If you're having trouble with the L-sit pull-up, you can always start off doing tucked L-sit pull-ups. And one of the best progressions that worked for me was starting off on a low bar, sitting down on the floor in an L-sit position and being as explosive as I can and trying to maintain the L-sit position as as I pulled up and off the ground. Now moving on to the next exercise I have for you guys, that's gonna be explosive pull-ups. We're gonna go for seven reps. Just try to pull up as high as you can, try to be as explosive as possible while remaining perfect form within the rest of your body and maintaining full engagement. Let's go for it. All right, there we have the explosive pull-ups. Now when you're doing a muscle up, you don't just pull and come all the way up on your first time with ease. The muscle up is an explosive exercise unlike the traditional pull-up. When doing a muscle up, to initiate the movement properly, you have to utilize explosive pulling. That's what allows you to reach higher up the bar and that's why we need to train it. So at the beginning, if you're just getting started with this exercise, you may not even be able to explode off the bar, but as long as you're being ex explosive as possible, you're gonna start to build on that strength and eventually you're gonna be able to see yourself starting to pop off that bar a lot more effortless. Now we're gonna move on to the last exercise I have for you guys. That's gonna be high pull-ups. We're gonna go for five high pull-ups to really focus on our power and our technique. The goal of this exercise is to try to bring the bar as close to your waistline as possible. Let's go for it. <clears throat> all right, there we have the last exercise, high pull-ups. Now doing a combination of all the previous exercises I just showed you will improve this exercise. The weighted pull-ups are going to help you pull a lot higher as well as the explosive pull-ups and the other exercises are going to help you to be more efficient at pulling which is going to help you pull higher as well. So as you start to build more strength and technique one of your goals should try to be to pull as high as you can and that's going to translate directly into achieving a muscle up. If you can pull up up to your chest you can already do a muscle up but if you can pull past your chest there is no doubt you'll be doing them with multiple reps with ease and if you're still having trouble with the high pull-ups, you can always try this movement with a resistance band. Eventually, you'll be able to work your way down to thinner bands with less resistance, and soon you'll be doing it without any bands at all. And as I said before, all the other techniques that you acquire from doing the previous exercises helped me to be able to pull higher, like the L-sit pull-up. When I started doing that from the floor, that's when I first started trying to pull up all the way to my waistline, and I feel like that's what helped me the most. Once you can pull the bar past your chest, all you really need to do is just lean forward and do a straight bar dip, and that's the muscle up right there. So there you have it. There's no exact number that's gonna give you a muscle up, but these six exercises are gonna give you a foundation and build your strength required to be able to do a muscle up. So if you're able to follow along with this workout, that's amazing. You wanna be able to do a total of three to four rounds for this to be most effective. And remember, to get this workout on your phone, as well as full access to all my workout programs that I've created with specific goals in mind, like burning fat and simultaneously building solid muscle with minimal to no equipment, then make sure to download my Harrier Pro app in the App Store or Google Play Store to have me as a personal trainer in your pocket and start getting in the best shape of your life. And if you enjoyed the video, then definitely smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want the next video to be about. Share this video with a friend that's still struggling with their muscle up. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. I post every single Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern time. And if you comment within the first 30 minutes, you always have a chance to win some free Harry apparel. And if you're enjoying the music, make sure you're following me on soundcloud.com slash Chris That's where I upload all my latest tracks. You can also find my music on Apple Music, Spotify, as well as all other music platforms like TikTok, even Instagram. Lastly, we're planning our U.S. tour, so if you'd like to attend one of my workouts in your city, send us an email to support at chrisharriot.com. And with that said, I'll see you guys next Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love. Peace out.